welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beth. I am a 37 year old attorney living in the DC area with my husband. And uh, today's video is going to be my fall 2022 FabFitFun What Will I Choose video, uh, the first half of it anyway. And this is going to be kind of an interesting one because FabFitFun has changed how they are presenting the options. So I'll describe that in a little bit more detail in a minute. But I did want to mention at the outset that my planned upload schedule, it's already 10 o'clock as I am filming this on Monday. So I don't think this will be up on Tuesday, at least not sort of during the daytime. Maybe by tomorrow evening I will have it up. Uh, but I also plan to film a swatch video of the new Pat McGrath palette as soon as I get it in, so that might take priority. Uh, but I do plan to film and edit both parts of this What Will I Choose video uh, before customization opens for annual members on Friday. So if you want to make sure that you see these videos before that window opens, uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be alerted as soon as these videos go live. Uh, I also do plan to film my usual kind of screen capture video of the add-on store that opens for annual members on Thursday, so that should be up sometime kind of late Thursday afternoon, early Thursday evening. Uh, and that's just kind of a scroll through with music set to it, so you can kind of get an idea of what will be in the add-on store if you are a seasonal member. So I don't want to spend a lot of time kind of summarizing what FabFitFun is. Uh, if you are totally unaware and want to know how it works, um, I'll just refer you to, I guess, my summer What Will I Choose video where I kind of laid out the basics. But I did want to lay out what is different about this customization for the fall 2022 box. Uh, so I think mostly due to like supply chain issues or maybe just demand, uh, FabFitFun is kind of telling you in advance what items are going to be very limited. Uh, so if any of these items that I'm going to be talking about are limited, uh, you want to make sure that you log on as early as you can, uh, whether you are an annual or a seasonal member, uh, so that you can hopefully get the item that you have your eye on. Uh, and I think they did say that as items kind of sell out or are claimed, I guess, uh, they will kind of cycle in different items. So even if you are, say, an annual member and you are able to log on uh, Friday at noon, I think it is, uh, you may want to kind of keep checking back, um, especially towards the end of the customization window, because there could be an additional item that is more attractive to you, so you could choose that in lieu of what you had originally chosen. Uh, so I will be sharing with you the items they've already revealed and that I happen to have, or just give you my thoughts on what they've announced, uh, but there is a chance, a very good chance in fact, that there will be items in the various categories that we don't know about yet. Uh, so if you want to check back, I guess in a few weeks or so when I do finally receive my fall 2022 box, uh, you'll be able to see what I ultimately chose and if there was anything uh, that I found more attractive than what I am planning on choosing at this very moment. Uh, so as I mentioned, um, I think this video is going to be part one, so it's going to be categories one through four, and then I'll film a second video that has categories five and six, which are only um, available to customize for uh, annual members, uh, but then they also have refills and the boost your box option where you can pay an additional fee to get additional items for your box. Uh, so if you want to uh, see any of those categories, um, they will follow in a second video. Um, I will have timestamps down below, uh, so if you just want to skip ahead to a particular category, uh, you are more than welcome to do that. So the info box down below um, will have all of the items listed for each category, and I will also link to the FabFitFun community page for each of these categories where um, it kind of gives you more information about the different items. Um, whether there are any shipping restrictions, that kind of thing, and it gives information like materials, dimensions, that kind of thing. Uh, but you want to make sure that you pay attention to whether there is an hourglass like emoji symbol next to a particular item, uh, because that indicates that it will be extremely limited. So if that's something that you really want, you do want to make sure that 
um, you sign on early. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to mention is that for some of these categories, the cost of additional items has changed. So I'll kind of talk through that as I go through the categories, uh, but just know that there are some slight adjustments to the um, prices for the additional items that you can select. So I will be going in numerical order. So starting with category one, um, they actually, I think, spoiled them in a different order, but I'm just gonna go according to the actual category number. Okay, so for the first category, uh, this is open to all members and additional items will be $15 and I think that's the same as it was in previous seasons. Okay, so the first item is the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask. This has a $46 value and this appears to be a limited item so it has that little hourglass symbol. Uh, so this is a cruelty-free mask. You get 2.25 ounces. And I kind of like Summer Fridays as a brand, but the ingredients on this one in particular um, are not, I don't think the best for my skin type, so I have more kind of dry, sensitive skin. Uh, it says, this clarifying mask uses vitamin-packed pumpkin and exfoliating apricot seed powder to get dull or congested skin back on track, gently polishing away dead cells for luminous results. Um, so I think this just has some ingredients that are not the best um, for sensitive skin again. It has like cinnamon um, oil, ginger oil, clove oil, nutmeg. So I'm sure it smells really kind of, you know, pumpkin spice sort of thing. But um, I think I will just be skipping on that because it's just not worth it to me to run the risk of that irritation. Um, I usually consult... Beautypedia um, to check out different skincare products. Um, that's kind of the, they're affiliated with Paula's Choice. I'm not sure exactly what their relationship is, but just know that there is that kind of affiliation. And um, I don't think they had great things to say about this one in particular. I think they're also redoing their website, so it's not the best right now. Yeah, so they gave it a one star rating and they say it has a sensitizing mix of ingredients that may actually leave skin the worse for wear. Yeah, they say right off the bat, you'll notice the skin polishing sensation that comes from the abrasive apricot powder. That gritty feel is indication of the irritation taking place both on the surface of skin and down below. Uh, the next red flag is the strong pumpkin pie aroma which stems from several fragrance ingredients known to irritate skin, including forms of cinnamon and clove. That's disappointing considering these types of ingredients completely contradict the skin calming effect of the soothing ingredients in the formula. And we say this fully admitting we love the smell of pumpkin pie. The best thing that Overtime Mask has going for itself is that it contains free radical fighting antioxidants and comes in opaque squeeze tube packaging to keep them stable. Without the abrasive particles, the sweet almond oil and safflower seed oil could have a beneficial effect on hydrating dry skin. As is, there are just too many compromising issues with this mask. Yeah, so that, that's the long and short of it. It has um, physical exfoliants that could be irritating and it also has some um, fragrance ingredients that could also be irritating. So if you do have sensitive skin, I would definitely recommend staying clear of that one. The next one is the Mally and Lily Weekender Bag. It comes in either cream or black abstract, I think it is. Uh, this has a $128 value. It says uh, the Mally and Lily Signature Leopard Print Canvas on the Go Weekender Bag. Nylon web straps and a secure zip closure allow you to go about your business and pleasure for a day, overnight, or weekend trip the perfect carry-on or weekend getaway bag. So the dimensions are 16 by six by 11, and I'm wondering if this is reversible or if it's just two different options. It's not totally clear. But anyway, it's 100% polyester, and I already have the, uh, was it Alice and Olivia, like daisy print bag from I think a spring box maybe last year. Um, so I don't think I need another bag. I'm always a sucker for the bags that FabFitFun uh, puts in their um, boxes, but I think I should just forego this one because 
as it is, I think I have more than enough kind of tote bags that I don't need this one. So I'll be skipping on that one. Uh, the next one is the Trophy Skin Brighten MD. It has a $99 value. It says microcurrent stimulation to improve skin's appearance. Therapeutic warming stimulates improved circulation and red light therapy stimulates cell turnover and renewal. The ultrasonic waves enhance absorption of your favorite serum. Smart touch sensor turns on when in contact with your skin. So it looks like it has a USB charging cable. Uh, you apply your favorite serum and then touch the head of the device to your skin and massage in small circular motions. Do this around your entire face for one to two minutes every day. And this cannot be shipped to the UK, by the way. So I think I'll also be skipping on this one in part because I already have, as I think I'll be talking about in part two of this video, um, I already have the Dennis Gross LED mask, which retails for hundreds of dollars. So um, I think, you know, the red light therapy of this is probably better than um, what comes in this little device. And I also have the New Face Mini, which is a microcurrent device. So I think I already have devices that kind of perform this function. And I guess I would hope, given the money I've spent on those two devices combined, that they have much better results than this $99 device. So I will be skipping on that one. Uh, next up, we have the Food 52 colander and bowl set. This has a $49 value. Um, these are made out of bamboo fiber. It says it makes these bowls quite durable and they're BPA, PVC, and phthalate free. And it says they're dishwasher safe and microwave safe, which is good. So I'm guessing the they have small and large um, items that they have the dimensions for. So I'm guessing the small is the colander because that would fit inside. Um, so that is 7.5 inches deep by 4.5 inches high, has a 1.31 quart capacity. The large is 10.25 inches deep and 5.5 inches high, and it has a 3.38 quart capacity. Um, it says the perforated bowl for rinsing fruits and vegetables or draining pasta sits in a slightly larger bowl. The larger bowl has a handle that doubles as a spout. So you can collect the water you're not using and then use it. Uh, whether to water houseplants, wash your floors, or any other household tasks. Plus the bowl is a handy mixing bowl on its own. Scrambled eggs, pancake batter, and sauces can be easily mixed up and then cleanly poured straight from the handle. So, and it looks like it has 45% bamboo fiber and 55% virgin PP. I don't know if that's polypropylene or something. So I was going to say, like, as far as the colander goes, like, it looks like the holes are only at the bottom, which doesn't seem like a very effective colander. Uh, I actually grabbed, like, our standard colander. I think this is from OXO, if I'm not mistaken. So this is, you know, we just used it tonight, actually, to make pasta. So that's, like, my preferred, I guess, colander style, because I just think, like, straining things through the bottom of a bowl would not be very effective. Um, as I was reading the description though, it did occur to me though that for some like pasta recipes, for example, it tells you to like retain like, I don't know, half a cup of the pasta water to add into the sauce so it kind of thickens it up. Um, and you know, half the time we're like, actually I have these that I'll talk about in a minute, but you know, we'll just use like a normal, you know, either Pyrex or just a measuring Cup like this to kind of scoop it out um, but then half the time you're like getting your hand in the steam and it's kind of a mess so I guess I can see some use for this and sort of kind of catching the pasta water and then being able to incorporate it so I'm not sure we honestly have the space to store these but that is one thing that occurs to me that I hadn't thought of earlier so I might consider that Okay, so the next one is the Gentle Fawn Hermosa Cardigan. This comes in three sizes, so I think there's extra small, small, medium, large, and then plus. And this has a $78 value. So, and it does have the width and length dimensions of the cardigan. 
Um, it looks like it will be pretty kind of loose fitting, so it shouldn't be kind of too size specific. So I think this is either hand wash cold or dry clean, and neither of those cleaning methods is my favorite. Um, so I'll probably skip on it for that reason. And it's also 100% brushed polyester, uh, and fully polyester garments can be really soft or whatever, but it's just not my favorite type of um, material. So. I will probably skip on that one. Uh, next up we have the Living Proof Full Shampoo and Full Conditioner. This has a $60 value and these are cruelty free, eight ounces each. It looks like they are sulfate free. So to be honest, um, I don't generally gravitate towards full or like volumizing products because you know, with my hair texture, it's naturally wavy. I just don't generally look for that type of um, volume in my products. So um, that's just not really a product for me. Okay, next up we have the VO Air Purifier with HEPA filter. Uh, this has a $99 value. Uh, this one cannot be shipped to the UK. Uh, it measures 4.78 by 4.78 by 7.25, so it's pretty small. Uh, and it says it removes up to 99% of airborne particles, including dust, smoke, and pollen. Uh, it uses a quiet yet efficient clean air distribution panel and HEPA filter to refresh your space. It has an ABS case and a fan, and it operates by a USB cord. So it says generally the HEPA filter should be changed every two to three months depending on use. And I did look up their website. It looks like two filters will run you $30. Um, when I checked earlier, they were out of stock. So I don't know if this is like a new item that they're carrying and they haven't gotten the um, filters in stock yet. But um, just be aware that this is an item that you will have to kind of maintain and keep up with. Uh, that being said, I think I might choose this. We do have a larger air purifier for like our living space, but um, I thought this might be nice to have in the bedroom, um, just something a little bit smaller, a little bit more targeted. Um, so I'm thinking I'll get that. Um, I mean, worst case scenario, if I can't get the filters, I just, I guess, won't be able to use it long term. But um, it's a pretty, I guess, low investment getting in a subscription box like this. Okay, so next up we have some blushes from NARS, and I do actually have a couple of these shades to share with you. Um, so all of these are limited, so if you do want these, make sure to log on early. Uh, these all have a $32 value, uh, and you have the option of three shades. So you have Taj Mahal, Deep Throat, and Orgasm X. So um, I have two of them. I have Taj Mahal and deep throat. So I haven't applied blush yet, so I thought I would do that for you on camera. A couple things I wanted to note while I'm kind of setting this up is that the value of these blushes isn't as high as some of the other items in this category. So if you aren't able to get one of these, it might not be the worst thing in the world. Um, I'll also note that, what did I say? Additional items are 15, I think. Um, and these are full size blushes that will come in the box. Um, so this, for example, is a full size blush from NARS. Um, I have many sizes. So this is a mini um, and this is the full size. And then this was like another like sample size. This is the Taj Mahal one. But anyway, the minis that they sell are $16 and you know, you may or may not ever use up a full size blush. So that's just something to consider, um, especially if you get any kind of discount on it. I would probably take it below $15. So if you just wanna try different shades, but you may not actually need a full size blush, then that's just something to consider. Um, so the full size, I believe, will have a mirror and a pan like so. This is 4.8 grams. Um, one thing I've never, liked about NARS packaging and I don't know if like the newer products are still like this but this is an old like limited edition blush is that over time the packaging gets a bit sticky 
Um, like this is the deep throat sample that I have and I don't know if you can just tell based on like how it looks that it just gets sticky like hair will stick to it powder all that kind of thing so um, this one does have a little mirror which is really cute but yeah it's never been kind of my favorite blush if only for that reason um, so I'm gonna apply it with a rubber number five that I've kind of knocked off the powder whatever is left on there and I'm just gonna go right in um, I remember buying this particular blush years ago it's been around for a while um, but it's kind of in a way it's a more subtle version of orgasm so if you found orgasm to be kind of too sparkly for your liking um, this might be a pretty shade especially if you have kind of m near my skin tone um, I'm about to have kind of different cheek colors going on in a moment so brace yourself the one I don't have, which I'm kind of interested in, is the Orgasm X shade. Um, kind of just to have as reference, almost more than anything else. Um, that's Taj Mahal, by the way. And this is a little sample. It doesn't have a mirror or anything. So just for reference, you can see Deep Throat and Taj Mahal. I think that's pretty color accurate. I'll do a couple of swatches in a moment as well. Um, so this is really not, I don't think, kind of, which one did I just do? That one. Um, it's not really kind of meant for my skin tone, I don't think. Um, I think if you have a deeper complexion, this could be really beautiful on you. Especially if you have kind of more olivey skin. I mean, I guess I can make it work. It's just a little bit, I think, less natural of a color on me. I might have to even these out, actually, just for the sake of, like, the thumbnail. I think that one also has a bit of a sheen. All right, let me go ahead and swatch these for you. So that is Deep Throat. That is Taj Mahal. Uh, and I just grabbed my little sample of Orgasm as well, just for comparison, because I think that is the most popular. All right, so that is Orgasm. So I think you can tell just based on the swatches alone on my finger that Orgasm is much more shimmery. So we have Taj Mahal, Deep Throat, and Orgasm. Deep Throat might have a bit more kind of underlying pigment to it, but definitely not as much shine. All right, so let me just even myself up a little bit and I think I went in on the wrong cheek there. Um, it's a little confusing when you're kind of doing this backwards. Good thing I don't mind a bit of a heavy blush kind of moment. All right, and I'm gonna put on a different lip in a moment. I just had a lip gloss on earlier, so I know it might look a bit weird um, at the moment. Okay, so the last item I think in category one is actually throwback, and that is the Phantom Chef Fry Pan, uh, which has a $40 value. Uh, and I do have that here. So I think this is the one that actually came in the pan. Um, I think it's the same blue color. I also purchased the larger version um, in the add-on store. Um, oops, this handle feels a bit loose, actually. We did enjoy these for a while, but I think, a, but I think over time we just found that, um, like they weren't as non-stick as they used to be, and I think like the the pans might also have been slightly domed. I'm trying to remember properly, which can just kind of make cooking a little bit difficult. So that's not to say that it's necessarily a bad pan. I think you know the smaller size that comes or can come in your box is maybe like a two egg pan, 
I would say, or maybe like a grilled cheese. One grilled cheese is about what would fit in there. So I do kind of take into account that nonstick pans just tend to kind of lose their nonstick quality after time. So they say it's dishwasher safe. Um, I think we would put it in the dishwasher. I mean, any pan I think is going to last longer if you hand wash it. Yeah, it says it's safe to pop in the dishwasher, but we recommend that you give your pan some love by hand washing them. So it's a 100% aluminum with double layer nonstick coating. Um, I don't remember if those are oven safe. I have a feeling that they're not, which is kind of a sticking point for me a little bit. So um, I might just double check that and put it down below to say whether it is oven safe because I mean, just limits your the way that you can use your pans. So um, I just wanted to quickly share what we've been using and loving lately. Um, these are the Granite Stone Diamond Pro Pans. They're also blue, coincidentally. Um, we got these at Costco. I want to say it was a two pack. So you had this pan is the smaller one and then the larger one is actually dirty right now. Um, I, so I think this is slightly larger. Um, I'm pretty sure this one is dishwasher safe and oven safe. Looks like it has some egg on it still actually. So anyway, so, so far we've really been enjoying those pans. So I just wanted to throw that out as what we are currently enjoying. Okay, so moving on to category two. So for this one, additional choices will be $12. Uh, they used to be 15, so these actually went down $3. Some of the other ones went up, but this one did go down. Okay, so for this category, the first choice is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. This has a $39 value, and it says 90% of this silky glow moisturizer is spiked with vitamin and amino acid rich watermelon extract, plumping hyaluronic acid, and soothing botanicals like peony and jasmine extracts. This 100% oil-free cooling gel emulsion absorbs instantly to seal in hydration and prep skin for the day ahead. Antioxidants guard against free radicals, which side note, I still don't really understand what a free radical is, uh, and repair damaged cells along the way. Used morning and night, it drenches skin in luscious, long lasting moisture. So it says it makes skin feel soft, smooth and bouncy. It's clean beauty, whatever that means to you. Cruelty free. And it looks like you get 2.02 ounces, which is a little bit more than you will typically get with a moisturizer, so that's good. So it says you can smooth a pea-sized amount onto skin after serum, morning and night. Gently pat it until fully absorbed. It can also be mixed with foundation to add subtle radiance, which is interesting. So the first few ingredients of this are watermelon fruit extract and watermelon fruit. And yeah, I think that's it. So I do have a little sample of this. Yeah, so this is a third of an ounce little pump sample. Um, interestingly enough, it does say for oily to combo skin on the back and I do have dry skin. Um, I've used this a couple times. Um, so that is the texture. And although this by itself is not enough for me, like in the winter or at night probably, um, it is a nice layer of moisture. So for me, ideally, this would have gone into the spring or summer boxes because I'm more likely to just want something lighter during those months as opposed to the kind of fall going into winter months. But I still think it's a nice product. It has a very kind of subtle watermelon scent. If you absolutely hate the smell of watermelon, you might want to stay clear, but I don't find it to be offensive. And this is a product that, speaking of Beautypedia, um, they gave a pretty good rating to. I kind of like the shape of the bottle too, it's kind of interesting. So they gave this a four star rating, which is pretty good. Um, they say it has great aesthetics and contains some pretty good ingredients, but it doesn't quite have what it takes to rank among the best moisturizers. Um, they say it comes in a faceted glass bottle with a pump dispenser. Uh, because the glass is clear, you'll have to store this moisturizer out of direct light since light can break down some of the beneficial ingredients, namely antioxidants, that this formula contains. It says it's lightweight, absorbs quickly. So they say watermelon is rich in antioxidants, so that's good. 
has hyaluronic acid, also has licorice extract. So they say um, it does have a light watermelon scent, except that fragrance can trigger irritation in skin. Uh, I'm not sure if this actually has added fragrance. Yeah, so they say, you know, their negatives are, it has to be stored away from direct light. So that's something they always kind of harp on. Um, and it contains some fragrance, which um, is something they don't really love. Yeah, fragrance is way down at the bottom of the ingredient deck, assuming they haven't updated it since Beautypedia did its review. So yeah, I think if you just want a light moisturizer, or sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually layer moisturizer. So I'll use one that's a little bit more lightweight and hydrating. And then I'll use another one on top that's a little bit more kind of occlusive to kind of seal things in, um, especially at night, especially in the winter. So um, yeah, that's something to consider with that one. But I think that's what I'm actually going to choose, even though it's not really kind of designed for me on paper. Uh, the next one is the Chic and Tonic Three Piece Baking Set. has a $40 value and you get two silicone spatulas and one silicone mat. Um, they say it's an alternative to parchment paper, cutting down on waste. Um, the mat is 12 inches by 16 inches. The spatulas are 8.7 and 10.6 inches long. And you pretty much use this the same way you would any other silicone um, baking mat or spatulas. Um, I don't think I have a need for those currently and I don't hate the design, but it doesn't really kind of match the rest of my like kitchenware aesthetic. So I'll probably just be passing on that one. Uh, the next one is the Babe Original Essential Serum. This has a $49 value. Um, it says it promotes the appearance of length, all without needing falsies, extensions, or mascara. It's the number one best-selling lash serum that actually works. Um, I don't know how they're measuring best-selling because I've never heard of it before. Uh, it's cruelty-free and you get two milliliters. So this one cannot be shipped to Canada and the UK. So I already have, I think, a thing of new lash that I haven't even cracked into. So. I just haven't been really good about using lash serums in the past and I'm not at all familiar with this one. So I think I will be skipping on that one um, in addition to having ones that I already have that I can use. Uh, next up we have the Food 52 Bamboo Measuring Cups and Spoons. Um, these have like a blue green kind of color scheme and they have a $28 value. Um, so I think these are meant to go with the kind of bowl and colander set from category one. So if you wanted to have a whole kind of color coordinated setup for your fall baking activities, um, you could certainly do that. So it looks like you get four measuring cups and four measuring spoons and the measuring cups come with little pour spouts. Um, so you get one cup, a half a cup, a third a cup and a fourth a cup. And then for the spoons, you get a tablespoon, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon. Um, they are dishwasher safe, microwave safe. It says this eco-friendly material is not unbreakable and may scratch with the use of sharp utensils or damage if dropped. Um, and they do have 45% bamboo fiber and 55% virgin PP. So um, what I kind of alluded to earlier um, these are the measuring cups we have. Again, I think these are from OXO. Um, this isn't the full set. There may be a missing one in here, but um, yeah. So I think I got these on the recommendation of Cooks Illustrated for being kind of like accurate measurements and that kind of thing. Um, I also like that these kind of magnetize together. Um, so that way they kind of stay nice and organized without having them kind of be connected because um, either you have to disconnect a certain one so that you don't have to wash all of them if one of them gets dirty or you just have to have them separate. Um, but I like this kind of magnetic feature because it kind of keeps everything together. Um, and I've had these for years. I mean, some of the writing is wearing off a little bit, but I think for the most part, they're still going strong. Um, these don't have spouts or anything, but um, those are the ones that we have. Um, and then I also have the these aren't OXO, these are something else, but um, these are kind of a similar concept. I think these were also recommended by Cooks Illustrated. Um, and same idea of either having 
a bunch of loose measuring spoons or getting one dirty and having to kind of wash all of them. Um, so these are magnetic and I want to say there was one more on here that was an eighth of a teaspoon, which I do actually need from time to time. So we have the tablespoon, also gives it in milliliters, which is kind of nice. Uh, one tablespoon, half a tablespoon, one teaspoon, half a teaspoon, and a quarter a teaspoon is what I have here. Um, so I'll link these below so you can kind of check them out. But it's also nice that they have two ends because I think the idea is that this more elongated end is better for kind of sticking into spice jars or just like more narrow vessels, I guess, that you want to get um, food out of. Uh, but you also have this other side. So, um, you know, there are times where maybe a recipe calls for like a teaspoon of vanilla and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, and depending on the order you put things in the recipe, um, maybe use like the vanilla um, on one side and you still have kind of a dry side that you can put into a spice jar. So um, I find that really handy. And of course, you just have to wash the one that you use. So um, that would be my recommendation is to use a similar type of um, measuring spoon set. Um, so I'm not going to be picking that one. Uh, the next one we have here is the Gentle Fawn Huntington Scarf. This has a $40 value and it's 72 by 16 by 0.2. Again, it's 100% polyester and it's also hand wash only. And this one you cannot dry clean. It's strictly hand wash. So that's a no for me. <laughs> All right, so the next one is the Fit Plan 3-in-1 Resistance Band Kit and 3-month app subscription. This is supposed to have a $67.97 value. And it says it includes three bands in progressive intensities that can be adjusted for your perfect fit. So you have a blue one that's 20 pounds, a pink one that's 30 pounds, and a green one that is 40 pounds. Um, so resistance bands scare me a little bit, so I don't think I'll be picking this one. Um, but I also just wanted to caution you that you wanna be aware when you sign up for the app, I guess, um, for the subscription, whether you will be auto billed or not upon finishing the subscription. So, you know, that is just something to be aware of, might be an extra hassle you have to take into account. Okay, so that was it for, I think, the new items. They did add some, however. So it looks like one of the throwbacks is the embroidery kit and foldable cotton basket. Um, that is supposed to have a $90 value. I remember the basket. I don't remember the embroidery kit. And um, I actually do enjoy a bit of like needlepoint on occasion. So I think I would have remembered that. I don't know if it was like before I was kind of following FabFitFun or whatever. Yeah, so I don't really need a basket like that. I don't know, That that's kind of a maybe. Like I'm intrigued by the embroidery kit, but realistically, I don't know if it would be as beneficial to me as the moisturizer. And I don't know if I'd wanna pay an additional $12 maybe. I was thinking 15, but if it's $12, We'll see. That might be kind of just like a spur of the moment type decision. Uh, the last item I do have, um, and I meant to use it today, but I think I forgot. Um, this is the Glossier Future Dew. This has a $26 value. They added this kind of later in the spoiler window, I guess. And this has a $26 value. This is another limited item. So again, you want to make sure to kind of pop on if you are interested in this one. So this is one fluid ounce and first few ingredients are water, glycerin, and squalane. It says that you can wear it alone or under makeup. It has nourishing oils that immediately give you a gleamy, well moisturized look that lasts up to 12 hours. Um, and this is cruelty free. So as you can tell, I'm almost like just about halfway done with this, which is I think saying something for someone who has like as much product as I do. Um, there was a time when I would pretty much use this consistently under makeup. So I'm just going to kind of rub it into the back of one hand. And if you search my videos, um, I'm sure that 
product will show up as a kind of primer in one of my um, descriptions for what makeup I'm wearing. This one actually might be getting a tad old. So, you know, arguably I should replace it. So Beautypedia gave this one a three star rating out of five. I'll just kind of skip ahead to the pros and cons. Um, so it says it does contain um, rosemary oil, which poses a risk of irritation. Um, and they say to not use this as your last skin step. They say that sunscreen should be your final um, skincare step. Um, I use this mostly as like a primer, so I'm not sure how that kind of fits in with their philosophy. Um, and again, it has a bottle that needs to be stored away from direct uh, sunlight. For the pros, it says it delivers a holographic sheen that accentuates skin, provides dewy hydration, and contains skin replenishing ingredients and antioxidant rich plant extracts. Um, so yeah, it does, you know, provide a nice kind of moisturizing base for dry skin. If you don't have especially sensitive skin, you might really enjoy this one. And this bottle anyway was made in the USA. It says it has a six month shelf life, which I think I am well beyond at this point. So maybe I should, should look into that. We'll see. All right, so that's category two. All right, so moving on to category three. So additional choices are 12, they used to be 10. So we went up $2 for this category. So the first item is the Necessaire Body Wash and the Eucalyptus Scent. This has a $25 value. And uh, I'm really curious about this one, so I think I will be trying it. I wouldn't say eucalyptus is my favorite scent, um, but if I don't like it for whatever reason, I'm sure I can get my husband to use it. Uh, Beautypedia doesn't have any reviews. Um, from what I recall, this is a sulfate-free body wash, which is something I definitely look for um, as someone who kind of struggles with eczema and KP and that kind of thing. Um, it says it was a 2019 Allure Best of Beauty winner. Vegan, cruelty-free, comes in recyclable packaging. Uh, it says the um, eucalyptus scent is derived from essential oils, so Paula's Choice probably wouldn't like that, um, knowing them. Um, it does have 8.4 fluid ounce, and there are no shipping restrictions. Um, so yeah, so I think I'll probably get this just to kind of see what all the fuss is about. Um, I have the Necessaire deodorant, which is aluminum-free. I like it okay. I got the unscented version, so I can't really speak to their scents. Um, but yeah, I like it okay. I kind of rotate it in with like a traditional kind of Dove deodorant. So yeah, I'm, I'm curious about this one. So I'll definitely be picking that one up. Um, so the next one is the Free People by Understated Leather Carry On Packing Cubes. You get a pack of two. It has a $40 value. And it looks like the dimensions are 12 by 16 by 3.5 and 12 by 16 by 0.5. So same, I guess, length and width, but different like heights or thicknesses. So these are 100% polyester. So I kind of like the print. Um, I'm a bit of a sucker for a good paisley, um, but I do already have packing cubes. And I think any new packing cubes I bring in, I'd want them to be like the kind that, A, that you can see what's inside. So the ones I have have kind of like a mesh window. Um, and then also the ones that have kind of a, um, a divider between like you can put your clean clothes on one side and your dirty clothes on the other. Um, I think there's some others that may contain like some kind of compression abilities. So these look fine. I just don't find them to be more functional than what I already have. Let's say that. Okay, so the next item is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Stunna Lip Paint Longwear Fluid Lip Color in Unbutton. And this has a $26 value. So they say it is a weightless longwear liquid lipstick with a soft matte finish and a head turning shade that looks incredible on all skin tones. Um, and this is cruelty free. It says to shake before use. Um, define lips with the precision wand facing upright, then fill in with the precision wand facing downward. So I'm not quite sure what they mean by that. So I don't have this particular shade, um, and I don't plan to pick it up because I don't think that particular shade will be all that flattering on me. 
Um, I have two here, so I think these are the full size. Um, I have some of their minis as well, but I think this will be the full size. And I have the shades Unlocked and Uncensored. This is the shade Unmatched and Underrated. These might have been limited edition. Uh, I think I'm gonna go in with the red because I just think this is a little bit more fall looking to me. Um, so I'm gonna give this a good shake. First of all, I love the component on these, but I guess I'm not the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks generally. And the applicator on this is quite interesting. Um, so I'll give you a good look at that. Kind of looks like the um, applicator is wearing a corset or something. I'm not quite sure what they mean by held upright. because It has that kind of slanted tip to it. So the thing about this formula and other formulas like it is that, you know, usually my instinct is to kind of push it to the edge of the lip. Um, I find that sometimes when you do that, you can get like a bit of a a line of excess product around the lip. Um, so I'm gonna try and avoid that if I can. And generally, if I wasn't trying to just showcase a formula or a color, I would go in with a lip liner, I think, but. You see, it's very liquidy. Yeah, it's not as bad as some I've tried, but. I do just kind of like to close my lips to kind of move the excess. But yeah, just liquid lipsticks in general, I find that having that kind of barrier of a lip liner is kind of helpful. All right, and you can see I was using my um, pinky finger on my chin just to kind of give me a little bit more stability um, with the applicator. And if you do kind of remove any makeup, you can always just take your brush or your sponge and just pat over it. So that wasn't bad actually. Maybe I kind of mentally prepared myself to apply it. All right, so I think I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to set before I kind of give it a kiss test. So the FabFitFun um, website anyway doesn't promise that it will be transfer proof. Yeah, it just says um, weightless, comfortable, soft matte formula. So definitely set down to a matte. So go ahead and, yeah. So I think you may get some transfer with it, which with a more kind of neutral shade, I don't think is too bad, but just be aware of that. Um, it does feel pretty comfortable. I don't think anything is gonna be as comfortable as like a lip balm type product, but my drier lips aren't like screaming at me right now. And so far, I think it's pretty good as far as the teeth. Okay, so that's one item. The next one I think is something I will get. So this is looking like I will be picking up additional items in this category. Uh, the next one is the Lili Sadugi Brooklyn Sunglasses. These have an $80 value. It says a gorgeous pair of sunglasses in a classic shape and beautiful tortoise print. Perfect to wear year round, uh, but especially for fall as it will complement the fall colors in your wardrobe. Um, so I tend to kind of prefer black accessories over brown, uh, but I think with the tortoise shell, I think this is a really nice um, color combination for fall. And um, I broke out my Lili Sadugi headband that I got in a winter box. Um, the good thing about when these brands show up in a choice um, is that sometimes the same brand will be in the add-on store. So that's always a good thing to kind of look out for. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm slowly expanding my Lily Stoogie um, collection. Uh, I got a pair of her like Lily earrings um, in the summer add-on store, I think it was. Um, so yeah, so I think I will be picking these up. I don't have any sunglasses like them, so I think this will be a nice addition to my sunglasses collection. All right, so I plan on getting those. Um, the next item is the Love AJ Carmella Hoop Earrings. Um, these have a $65 value and it says they are a pair of mini teardrop shaped metal huggies. 
Uh, they are plated gold with a brass center, I guess. Posts are made of surgical steel, and it says they're 15 millimeters in size. So um, I am wearing some kind of like, I guess almost like more antique gold type earrings. I think these are from All Saints. Um, but yeah, I don't generally wear gold earrings. If I do, they have to be something a little bit special. I mean, these look nice enough, but I think I would probably just stick with um, silver ones. So I'll be skipping on those. Um, the next one is the Sugar Bear Sleep Deep Vitamin Gummies. These have a $29.99 value and these are cruelty free. So I generally try to avoid kind of additional sugar in my diet whenever I can and these look like they have organic tapioca syrup and raw cane sugar as the first ingredients. Um, so I think I just prefer to get my vitamins in non gummy form if necessary. And Sugar Bear also reminds me of like the Dramageddon with James Charles. So that's just not something I really choose to um, think of. Uh, and the gummies, by the way, cannot be shipped to Canada and the UK. The next item is the ASN hat, the Harper hat. This has a $68 value. Um, it says it is a felt floppy hat that makes a great accessory for any fall day. Uh, the brim is 3.5 inches and the circumference is 23 inches. So it says it's packable with an adjustable string inside the brim. 91% polyester, 8% acrylic, and 1% wool. Uh, so personally, this isn't something I'm interested in. Um, if you think you might be, I would encourage you to watch the like FabFitFun um, spoiler video on YouTube um, to kind of see the hat in action because um, it looks pretty floppy. So just make sure that that's the style that you're on board with. Um, based on the picture alone, it doesn't look as floppy as it did in the video. So just maybe be aware of that um, and make sure to check it out. Okay, so the next item is the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. This has a $29 value. And again, this is a limited item. Uh, it says this conditioning detangler smooths and strengthens dry damaged hair with heat protection added in for good measure. Uh, it says it delivers an instant boost of hydration, minimizes breakage from wet detangling, leaves hair smoother and shinier, heat protection up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, provides UV protection, um, and it's also vegan, paraben free, sulfate free, phthalate free, silicone free, formaldehyde free, and cruelty free. <laughs> Safe for all hair types, and you get eight ounces. So, um, I'm kind of interested in this, although I don't really need any more kind of detangling sprays um, as backups. I'm still working on the Whey leave-in spray, um, which is my, I guess, go-to. And then I also have like this one, I think I got as like a boost in a FabFitFun maybe. Um, this is not the same item, although it seems similar. This is the Restore Repair Leave-In. Um, so anyway, so I have this one, I have one from Verb I think I still need to use. So I don't need this. Um, I should probably skip it. We'll see if I'm weak in the moment and I decide to pick it up. Uh, the next item is also limited. This has a $30 value. It's the Living Proof No Frizz Vanishing Oil. Um, and this is something I am pretty sure I will skip on because um, I do have hair oils and I don't use them all that often. So I feel like what I do have um, will last me a pretty long time considering you don't need very much hair oil at any given time. Um, so this is 1.7 ounces or 50 mil. Um, it says this fast absorbing oil vanishes into hair, blocking humidity and delivering hydration for a smooth, shiny finish. And I just got lipstick on my water bottle, by the way, if you're curious. Um, so yeah, fast absorbing formula, hydrates and smooths hair, enhances shine, provides frizz protection. Um, this one is vegan, paraben free, sulfate free, phthalate free, silicone free, formaldehyde free and cruelty free. Um, safe for all hair types, safe for color treated hair and chemically treated hair. So yeah, so like I said, I think I'll just skip on that one. That one cannot be shipped to the UK. Um, it looks like 
the spray though doesn't have that restriction. Uh, this next one is another Living Proof product. This is the Restore Repair Mask. This has a $38 value. Uh, this one I might pick up um, because I typically use deep conditioners in lieu of like normal conditioners on my hair. Um, it says undo damage with this replenishing deep conditioning mask. Made to repair dry damaged hair for long lasting softness, shine, and smoothness. Repairs and reverses damage while guarding strands from future aggressors. Restores hair's moisture levels. Restores damaged cuticles without wearing hair down. Up to 70% reduction in breakage after one use. I'm not sure how they measure that. It says it replenishes healthy hair's natural protective layer. Helps hair stay cleaner longer so you can wash less often. Again, I'm not sure how they measure that. Uh, creates visibly healthier hair over time. This one is also silicone free. Um, so I'm not exclusively silicone free with my hair care, but I think given the choice, I would opt for silicone free over not. So yeah, so I might pick that one up just as, um, you know, another hair mask to have on backup. Uh, it looks like there was maybe one repeat item. Um, so for this one, it was the Michael Kors Beanie with Palm. This has a $48 value. So this one, it's um, hand wash cold, which I guess I don't hate for a beanie, but uh, it's one size fits all, nine by 8.5 inches, and it's 100% soft acrylic. So yeah, so I'm not really like a beanie type person, so I'll probably skip on that one again. <laughs> um, so that was it for customization three. Okay, so I think the last one we're going to be talking about tonight is customization four. Additional choices are $8, they used to be seven, so one additional dollar. And this is again open to all members. The first one is the Epare Mini Vegetable Chopper. This is supposed to have a $19.95 value. Um, again, I would encourage you to watch the FabFitFun spoiler video because um, this is entirely like hand operated. So um, I guess I could see a use case for that if you have like a trailer or you go camping, something like that. Um, but what we have and what I would, I think personally recommend in lieu of that um, is something like this. This is a mini food processor from Cuisinart. Um, this will probably run you around $35, $40 maybe. You could probably get it on a deal at some point in the year, but um, we do have a normal sized food processor, but it's it's not the kind that has like any kind of nesting bowl or anything in it. So it's like either one big bowl or this guy. Um, so this I really like to break out if I'm like trying to get like ginger and garlic ready for some kind of recipe together especially. So anyway, so if you're going to go the route of having some kind of appliance in lieu of just like a knife or a garlic press, um, I had that post on my community page once upon a time asking if people use like a garlic press or if they were more minimalist in their approach to cooking. But yeah, sometimes it is helpful to have a device like that, but for something that's like you know, they have to pull a string to operate. I don't know if it's really worth it. All right, the next item is the Unite 7 Seconds Leave-In Detangler. This has a $29.50 value. Um, this is cruelty-free. It's eight ounces. I guess the main difference I see between this and like the Living Proof, I think this contains silicones. It looks like the second ingredient is like alcohol or denatured alcohol. I don't see alcohol in the Living Proof one. So if I were to recommend one over the other, just based on the ingredients, the Living Proof one is probably better for your hair. So I was kind of tempted by the, the Unite um, spray. I seem to recall like Fleur de Force talking about their hair care a long time ago. I don't know, that's something I might be skipping on. There wasn't a lot in this category that was really thrilling to be honest. So we'll see, I don't know if that's something I'll pick up. Uh, the next item is the Lifestyle Company Natural Green Tea and Aloe Body Polish. This has a $45 value. It says the soft and fine grained polish uses the power of green tea and bamboo stem extract to pamper and soften skin without the oiliness of plastic beads or other 
products. So this is supposed to be clean beauty, again, whatever that means to you. Um, cruelty free, you get four ounces, and it looks like the first few ingredients are water, aloe leaf juice, and pumice, which is interesting. Um, it also has peppermint oil, wintergreen oil, lots of peppermint. Yeah, so I think I will be skipping on this one. I'll just stick with my um, like whey scrub that I like. I think that I got, was it last season? I'm good on scrub and I don't know, the ingredients on that one don't really thrill me. So I'll probably just skip on that one. Uh, the next one is the Luxie Enchanted Eye Set. That has a $64 value. Um, it's cruelty free. It says it's a limited edition eye brush set that is only available in your fall 2022 Fat Fit Fun Box. So these are synthetic brushes. Looks like you get four of them. Yeah, I don't think the resolution on the picture is good enough to see what the brushes are. Um, I do have Luxie brushes. Like this one, for example, is their 207. This is the medium angled shading. Um, so they're pretty good. I, I wouldn't say they're my favorite brushes, but if you need some brushes and you want synthetic ones, it might be worth um, checking them out. I'd probably recommend BK brushes over these, but I think those might be more expensive to get four of them. So um, if you, again, need brushes, maybe take a look at those. Okay, so the next item is the Wish Rose Hip and Lotus Mineral Milk Bath. This has a $38 value. And it says, sit back, relax, and allow this indulgent yet effective milk bath cleanse, moisturize, and soothe your skin. Leaving it feeling soft again, cruelty free, and you get eight ounces. There's water, glycerin, almond oil, which I love, coconut oil, shea butter. Um, so this seems like it could be a really nice addition to a bath. And I do like taking baths. So um, yeah, I might give that one a try, especially in lieu of the Unite Detangler, which I kind of talked myself out of, I think. I mean, $8 for an additional item is not terrible, but I don't know, there's some other categories where I think I might be picking quite a few options. All right, so the last item in this category, and the last one I'll talk about tonight, um, are the Fry Bamboo Boot Socks. You get a two pack, that's supposed to be sizes five to 10, and they have a 24, dollar value. So this is a an option that I have selected in the past. Uh, let's see, it says they are made out of rayon, nylon, and spandex. My big thing about these ones is that they say they are hand wash cold, which as I've said many times before, is just not something I'm willing to do, especially for socks. Like, no. <laughs> you can see I have some of the items I'll be talking about, I think, next time around. Uh, but yeah, I have I think one of each pair here um so I've worn these a few times I think the fact that it says to hand wash them and like I do wash plenty of things on cold and the gentle cycle that are dark but socks don't always make it into that cycle so I mean these just kind of you know hang out in the like laundry basket no man's land for extended periods of time, I feel like. But um, I mean, it's summer too, so I haven't really been wearing socks as often. But yeah, I would say these are just fine. And like, as I said, like I will run them through the gentle cycle on cold. And you know, there is, I think, some pilling that you can probably see. I mean, I don't know how much you care about that, especially, you know, if they're going into a boot or whatever. So, I wonder if I can put one on here. So my shoe size is around nine and a half and 10, somewhere in there. And and I don't have any issue with these being kind of big enough. That's about how far up they come, kind of mid calf, I would say. So anyway, so I can't really give these my kind of, you know, wholehearted endorsement. They're just kind of fine. They're socks, They're, that's about it. Okay, so um, I feel like I'm looking quite shiny. I turned off the air conditioning for you guys, and luckily it's cooler today than it has been, but it is by no means fall weather, let's say. All right, so that is going to do it for categories one through four. Stay tuned again for part two of this video and for my kind of add-on store video. 
And yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're excited about any of these items coming up in the fall 2022 box or if you think it's a total snooze fest and you're not excited at all. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, again, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.